Ada, Ada. No one ever could this be. Anywho, hello everyone. This is Haruka. And this is SCP-087. Now then, it's honestly about time that I got to playing a game revolving around the SCP Foundation. If you don't count that one that I played about the Shy Guy. But this is one of the more popular SCP fan games around the internet. That said, however, let's descend the staircase, shall we? Although, according to the original description of 087, it's essentially an endless staircase, which means Mama's gonna have to do a hell of a lot of walking. Nani? SCP-087 is an unlit platform staircase located on the... of Redacted. A light source is required for subjects exploring SCP-087. Is there are no lying vectors? I didn't read that in time! Lighting sources brighter than 75 watts have been shown to be ineffective as... Okay, why even bother showing me this if I can't read it in time? The bottom of SCP-087 even exists has not been discovered. Really now? Well, I'm just a 300 IQ mad scientist with fluffy hair, massive boobies, and a penchant for traveling across the horror game landscape. So excuse me if I'm not going to be the first to discover the bottom of the stairwell. Although it is about time that I've done more SCP-related content. Yes, I might do containment breach in the future, provided my computer can handle it. Or, you know, maybe I'll ask Yumi-chan to play Containment Breach with me. And didn't Containment Breach get a Unity update or something? Or am I misremembering? Anywho. Oh, and I meant to say, thank you all for the positive feedback on the New Vegas Bounties videos. And, um, if enough positive feedback is... Hold on. Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Vocalization is from what sounds like a child between the ages of ne and ne. However, any attempts to descend the staircase have failed to bring subject closer to the source of the crying. So basically, there's someone in the staircase with us. Interesting. Although, huh, my feet are going to be killing me after this. I mean, do you see the pumps that I wear? Those pumps are not made for walking. Then again, I'm barefoot as I do this video, so whatever. Just continue walking. You can hear the sound of crying beneath you. Really now? You can estimate that the sound is about six flights down. Six flights? Well, very well. We'll make the pilgrimage. We will take the journey. As my light flickers around me. Mama Toyoguchi didn't raise no coward. Huh. Speaking of my mother, it has been a while since she's been in a video with me. Oh well, maybe the next one. Alright, just keep descending this totally not scary staircase. After 087's discovery, more explanations were explorations were conducted into the structure. The furthest in depth recorded was shown to be far beneath both. Couldn't read that in time. At this time, it is unknown if SCP 087 has an endpoint. I do believe you've mentioned that, mysterious narration. I do apologize for my stuttering. As intelligent as I am, even I trip over my words sometimes. I wix my merds up. You know what I meant. Anywho, just keep descending the staircase until something happens. Although I will admit the atmosphere is... Hole. Why is there a hole here? There is a hole in this wall. Why, yes, how observant of you. Look into the hole. Better judgment has told me to not do these kinds of things, but since we're in a horror game... Ah, screw it. It's too dark to see anything. Figures. Of 
course, when you look into a hole that small, what do you think's going to pop out of it? Get your mind out of the gutter! Anywho... Is that a heartbeat? Excuse me! As I was going to say, the atmosphere in this game is actually pretty well, well built up. No jump scares or nothing. Just you, the infinite void, and an infinite staircase. Although, good lord, if you have... Random concrete! Yeah, sure! A loose piece of concrete has broken off and fallen down. That there right there is concrete, baby! Anywho, as I was going to say, if you have two left feet, good lord, this must be a nightmare for you. Imagine tripping down an infinite staircase, like you're in a Tom and Jerry cartoon. Oh, now I'm thinking of Tom and Jerry in this staircase. Good lord. No, I mean, think about it. Jerry could fit into that hole back there, and Tom would be trying to find him in this infinite staircase. And eventually, Tom would fall flat on his ass. Oh, just me and my random thoughts. Hold on, I saw that. You go back there and show me what that was. And the noises in the void. I'm not sure I like that. Ahem. <clears throat> Each subject conducting an exploration has encountered SCP-087-1. Huh? SCP-087-1 appears as a face with no visible pupils, nostrils, or mouth. The nature of OS-087-1 is entirely... Blood. Blood! But where is it coming from? This place does not seem to have a ceiling, so... Where could the blood be coming from? Who punched out all of your blood? Or is that blood part of the staircase itself? Is the staircase a living creature? Asking the real questions here. Oh, and thank you for showing up, 087-1. You're not very scary. I even dare to say that you take away the, from the atmosphere of the game. Even though it's just an infinite staircase. Cause that what it takes to be... Infinite! So look around you and tell me what you really see. I never end and that's the difference in between you and me. Hell? Well, I've been to hell because one of my friends is literally the devil, so... You are no hell, 087. I have been to hell. The CEO of hell is a friend of mine. Okay, what's with that tapping? Excuse me. Prehensile hair! What, is Kayako in this staircase? Well, then again, I'm friends with Sadako, so probably. So prehensile hair is now part of the staircase. Very good. Nice! Can I keep going down the staircase or what? Nani? Pieces of long hair-like material are reaching up in the ground. No shit, Sherlock. Though where is it coming from? Due to the exploration of the final exploration of blah blah blah, no personnel are permitted access to SCP-087. Really? I saw that eye, excuse me! Oh, now we're getting into the, into the red pot. Because, in the words of John Wolfe, red is scary. No, seriously, it's a horror game. We gotta have red everywhere. Just dump it all over the walls! So do we dare continue? But the real question is... Nani? Only observed in Exploration 4, a strange organic material covers the walls deep within SCP-087. It is possible that SCP-087 is a living structure, absorbing and feeding off of organic material inside of it. Shortly after this discovery, the subject dropped the video camera as they were incapacitated by an unknown force. And more blood, what do you know? 
So can we continue or what? Oh, and dash one is just oozing onto my screen. And that can only mean good tidings. Nunny, why did you stop? Hello? Oh. You mentioned something about dropping the camera, but why will we do that unless we died? Oh, we're going down. Wee! Soon after the camera was dropped, signal contact eventually deteriorated into static due to traveling out of range. So we did. Over a period of two weeks following Expiration 4, several members of the redacted campus reported knocking coming from the interior of SCP-087. The door leading to SCP-087 has been fitted with 6 centimeter thick industrial padding. All reports of knocking have ceased. What about us? I'm going to assume that we died. Well, isn't that unfortunate? Going into an infinite staircase and then you die. And I'm going to assume that's where it ends. Yup. Well, I have to say, this was a pretty good adaptation of the staircase. And again, not my first rodeo with the SCP Foundation. But anywho, that, my darling subjects, was SCP-087. Oh, and you can't see behind me, but there's a sticker. Good job! But anywho, if you lovely folks would like to play SCP-087 for yourself, I will leave a link in the description below, as always. And if you lovely folks enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and a comment to let me know, and maybe subscribe while you're at it. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, my darling subjects. <laughs>